Hey everyone, Paul Johnson, Waconia, Minnesota, and the Laughing Trout Fly Tying Club. Today, I'm going to be tying my version of the Frenchie. It's become a very popular fly over the last few years, and it works very, very well. So here's what I've got going on. Um, I've got a size 14 Hanok uh, jig hook, barbless jig hook. The tail is Coque de Leon in dark pardo. The body is pheasant tail. There is a, a rib of small gold wire. The thorax is Wapsi Super Bright Peacock Dubbing. And then I have a 2.8 millimeter slotted bead on there. So let's get started. Get the uh, hook in my tying vise. Uh, thread, again, doesn't much matter because it's really gonna get covered up, but I've got uh, 14 knot in brown. So I'll just get my thread started, uh, take it back to about where the barb would be if there was a barb on the, on the hook. Clip that off, the excess off. I'm going to take probably, I don't know, 15 or so of the uh, Coque de Leon uh, fibers. Try to keep them in line as you pull them off. And maybe about a three quarters of a hook shank in length for a tail. I'm just going to make a couple wraps and then just check to see and I've got it kind of twisting around there so I'm going to take this off do that again a couple wraps and then just check to see if I'm happy with that or if I need to make any adjustments and that looks okay there so we'll just continue to tie that down cut off the excess Next, I'm going to tie in a length of that gold wire. Again, I mentioned it was a uh, size small. Take that back to where the uh, barb would be. All right, next we're going to tie in the pheasant tail. And I've got eight fibers that I pulled off. And then I did cut the tips just to even them up. And yes, I do count. Every fly's got eight fibers, so keep it consistent. I'm going to throw a half hitch in my tying thread, and then I'll hang this from my bobbin cradle. And then I'll be able to use the uh, rotary function on my vise. Just a little bit quicker than wrapping it over by hand. Just winding that forward until I get right behind that bead. Get rid of the bobbin cradle. Come in here with my tying thread. Spin that bead around. There we go. And then I can cut off that excess. And then it's going to take uh, seven wraps of wire. And I'm going to counter wrap it. And all we need to do here is try to get even spaced wraps. I lost count. I can't even count to seven anymore. All right, right behind the bead. Secure that with my tying thread. Come in with my fingernail clippers and cut that excess off. All right. Then uh, last is we're going to put on that super bright peacock dubbing. If you've watched any of my other fly tying videos, you've seen I've used this same material a lot. Um, I like it way better than actual peacock curl. It's way more durable. And in this case, where I'm making the collar or the thorax, I can put more on there than what you could with peacock curl. All right. I'm going to just do the whip finish. Cut my thread off and then... If you got any one of these real long ones that are bothering you a little bit, you can cut them off, but uh, the more that's on there like that, the better. Uh, this has been a, a great fly for me. Actually, I caught, I think the second biggest trout I've ever caught, at least a, the biggest trout in outside of Alaska uh, last year on the Yellowstone in the Black Canyon. I had it below a hopper and a big uh, Yellowstone cutthroat came up 
and took this fly. So it's worked good and uh, one that you probably want to have in your fly box. Thanks for watching.